hallelujah welcome to the firebrand daily devotional this morning and um, today is saturday june 18th 2022 the firebrand daily devotional is from the office of our senior pastor dr pastor halidu abraham of the revival house church with headquarters in local Jakogi state nigeria and the lord bless you for joining us this morning we are looking at the topic how to hear god's voice how to hear god's voice genesis chapter 3 verse 10 says he said i heard the sound of you in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked so i hid myself that was adam talking there and um, god created man to communicate with him by sound but this capability was lost jesus came to restore that relation back one of the greatest benefits of our salvation must be that of hearing god speak to us personally there can be no intimate relationship with our heavenly father without it but as easy as it is for us to speak to him the average christian has a hard time hearing the voice of god this is not the way jehovah intended it to be learning to clearly distinguish god's voice is invaluable instead of going through life blindly we can have the wisdom of god guide us and protect us through life our life can radically be transformed by hearing the voice of the lord better the worst marital problem is one word from the lord away from a, a total turnaround just one word from god that marital problem can be a thing of the past if you have sickness or you have disease one living word from god will instantly heal you one word from god if you are in financial crisis the lord knows exactly how to turn your situation around it's just a matter of hearing his voice the lord constantly speaks to us and gives us his direction it's never the lord who is not speaking but it is us who are not hearing hallelujah jesus made some radical statements about hearing his voice in john chapter 10 verse 3 to 5. he was speaking about himself as the shepherd of the sheep and the only way to enter the sheep fold to him the potter opened it and the sheep hears his voice and he called his own sheep by name and he leaded them out and when he put forth his own sheep he goeth before them and the sheep follows him for they know his voice and a stranger will they not follow but will flee from him for they know not the voice of the strangers hallelujah notice that he said in verse 3 his sheep hears his voice he didn't say his sheep can hear his voice or should hear his voice he said his sheep hears his voice he made the emphatic statement that his sheep do hear his voice most christians would question the accuracy of that statement since their experiences don't line up but it's not what jesus said that is wrong no all true believers can and do hear the voice of god they just don't recognize what they are hearing as being the voice of god hallelujah radio and television stations transmit 24 hours a day seven days a week but we only hear them when we turn the receiver on and tune it in failure to hear signals doesn't mean that the station isn't transmitting so it's possible for the station to be transmitting but because you are not plugged in you are not getting any signals hallelujah what's our meditation point this morning likewise god is constantly transmitting his voice to his sheep just like the transmitting station god is constantly talking god is constantly speaking but few are turned on and few are tuned in most christians are busy pleading with god in prayer to transmit when the problem is with their hearing and not with the transmitting station what's our prayer point therefore this morning i want us to pray and say lord jesus can we pray together say i recognize that god has created me for a closer relationship with him speak to me today and open my mind open my eyes open my ears to receive your word in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah is somebody talking to god every demonic wask satanic wax blinding and blocking my ears let it be melted by fire today let me begin to hear my father's voice in the mighty name of jesus thank you father we give you the praise and we give you the glory 
in jesus mighty name we pray i believe that as you put everything we have said into action you will begin to hear the voice of god distinctly clearly and loudly from today in the name of jesus and any voice competing with the voice of god in your life trying to confuse you today i command that voice to be dumb in the mighty name of jesus please share your testimony with us and we'll meet again tomorrow the same time the same place for the same firebrand daily devotional until then keep hearing god's voice in jesus mighty name have a wonderful day in jesus name Amen.